all of the story would begin long before the destruction of the planet Vegeta. Bardock was doing a mission that had put the Emperor of Cold, Frieza, along with his companions. The mission was very simple. A new planet that would have appeared in the universe. On that planet, there was a very valuable material for the construction of new weapons with more power and much more resistant ships. Frieza, being interested in this rare metal, decided to send the Saiyans to negotiate with the inhabitants. But if for some reason they refused to cooperate peacefully, they would have to eliminate them all and thus steal all the ore that was on the planet. Wow, this planet is very strange. Why is it that Frieza is so interested in the ore on this planet? Hey, all of you, what are you doing on this planet? Are they thinking of stealing our precious minerals? Bardock, seeing the guy who had just appeared, had scanned him with his tracker. This guy's power is very weak. If anything, he reaches 50 power. How pathetic. Look, we are not invaders. We are here to negotiate with you. If you accept to work with Emperor Frieza, he will give you protection and a lot of money. The only thing you have to do is to give us most of the ore that is on this planet. He does it because you know the method to create the ore again. The guy, hearing Bardock's words, would be very angry. Why don't they all go to hell? I'm not going to make the people of this planet work with that emperor you talk so much about, so it will be better that they all leave at once. And if we don't leave, which is what will happen, you will go to a corner to cry and wait for someone from this weak planet to save you? <laughs> don't make me laugh. I can't stand to listen to your words anymore. The guy who would have lunged at Bardock, giving him a punch in the chest, but he would only squeeze his hand and then throw him to the ground. His head would be crushed by the Saiyan's foot. Don't try to be a hero. We told you we were coming peacefully, but you left us no choice. Comrades, eliminate all the inhabitants of this planet and steal all the minerals. All the Saiyans began to eliminate all the inhabitants. It didn't matter if they were old or young. They all suffered the same fate. Look, this is what happens to the people you were trying to protect. Please stop, I can't take it anymore. Not many minutes had passed when most of the people had been eliminated. Bardock, with his tracker, was going to see if anyone was still alive. But the tracker only marked the ground inhabitants and his companions. Now only you are missing. Damn it, all my people were eliminated. You will pay for all of this. The moment the inhabitant said this, Bardock would have thrown a key ball in his face, ending his life in an instant. This guy was just talking nonsense. If you don't have the power, don't talk. Anyway, I want to get out of here and see my wife again. Frieza lately is leaving us more missions than usual. Surely he must be planning something. Bardock's companions, along with him, would start walking towards their ship. But after a few steps, the planet's sky would have turned red, along with a great tremor that shook the entire planet. What is going on with this place? The planet is going to be destroyed! If so, we have to get out of here as fast as possible! Bardock, along with the others, would run to their ships, but from one second to another, a fellow Saiyan would have lost his life. The confused Saiyan began to run with much fear, falling one by one, until only one was left alive. My friends lost their lives from one second to the next, and I was not even able to react! Bardock shouted, confused and furious. Who is to blame for all this? Get out of wherever you are! A person would have appeared out of the mist. The Saiyan would quickly use his tracker to measure his power, but the moment he did, it would break completely. Who the hell are you? Why are you doing this to us? Is it not very obvious? You have eliminated all the people who were on the planet. These people were protected by me. Your friends did not care about eliminating the young people who lived on the planet. Many innocent people died because of you. I hate to see how people who think they have power hurt the weakest. The Saiyan would feel a great pressure that was breaking his bones. His screams of pain could be heard all over the place. This is music to my ears, but it is not enough. Before you lose your life, I will tell you something. I am an omnipotent god. Our life is very hard and very difficult. From what I can see in your eyes, your wife is carrying a child in her womb. Hey, don't you dare do anything to my family or my child. You have no right to say any words right now. Bardock had his tongue cut out. Your son will be born with a very great power, but in return for having so much power, he will have a very devastating life. When he grows up, I will face him and eliminate him too. And one more thing, my eyes of destiny just revealed something to me. Your planet will be destroyed in a very short time. So no matter when I intervene, see you soon, Saiyan.
Barnock's body disintegrated in a single movement. That scene was very weak. I guess after a few hours this planet will revive again. The being would have left a special seed on the planet, and without thinking twice, it would have headed to the Vegeta planet. Even though the being was going at a very high speed, the trackers could not see or feel its presence. Meanwhile, Jine, it's been a while since my husband left, I hope he is well. Suddenly, from one moment to the next, the time of the place would have stopped. Jine would have dropped a plate on the floor, but she would realize that it was still in the air. As she left her house, she would realize that the other people would not be able to move either. Because time stopped, is this possible? Of course it is possible, mortal. You can tell that you have not lived long enough to see the things that I have seen. You limit yourself to be on one planet knowing that the universe is very large. I imagine you wonder why I am the only person who can be able to move. That's because I came here for something very special. I do not like to give sad news, but your husband has lost his life because of me. The being would show her a fragment of how her husband lost his life. My husband cannot be dead. This must be a lie. We were expecting a child. Besides, he is not to blame. We were only following orders. I know perfectly well. Shut up for once. You don't know anything. If that were true, you wouldn't have eliminated my husband. You can tell that living beings only care about their loved ones. Jine, angry and with tears in her eyes, began to throw key balls non-stop against the guy, but he deflected them all with one hand. Jine threw a blow, but the guy disappeared quickly and then grabbed Jine's neck. Woman, it doesn't matter when you get angry and beg me, but your son's fate is already written. The guy would cut his arm a little to force Jine to drink his blood. The guy's wound after that would have healed as if nothing had happened. The subject would let go of her neck, Jine would be on the ground wondering what she had just drank. Five seconds later, a light would have been seen in her stomach. My body starts to burn. The minutes and seconds passed, and Jine's screams did not stop. Her body was sweating a lot, her life was being lost more and more. What have you done to me? My body suffers non-stop. The process to be an omnipotent being is not easy. Without pain, there is no gain. Don't tell me that after this suffering I will lose my life. Most likely, you will. Even the strongest beings lose their lives in this process. Listen, if this is my punishment for what my husband did, I accept it, but at least leave my son alive. I don't like to promise things, but if you make it through this ritual, your son will live for a while, and if you don't, your son will die with you. Whatever it takes, my son will get out of here alive. More than 30 minutes would pass after the scene went through horrible pain. Her son would be born magically. The body would be covered in a white light. In the end, if I don't make it, I hope you can survive and become a great warrior. Remember that even if I'm gone, I'll always love you. See you soon, son. After saying that, his body would be crushed into dust by the blood ritual. I did not believe that such a weak mortal would make it through the blood ritual. But my eyes of fate never lies. This is a one in a billion miracle. Now it is up to you to survive. Let's see how much you will achieve on your own. The subject would have disappeared, and with that time would have returned to normal. Goku did not stop crying. A neighbor who was in the area wondered why his mother did nothing to calm him down. When she entered her house, she realized that the little baby was alone. The only thing beside him were small ashes. The neighbor looked all over the house for Jine, but did not find her. The strangest thing for her was that a few minutes ago, she swore she had seen her cooking. She carried Goku and took him to the guards, explaining the situation. Don't worry, ma'am. We'll inform King Vegeta, and we will see what we can do. The guards would take Goku to King Vegeta. Sorry to disturb you, but apparently this child's parents have disappeared. You guys are bothering me just because of that stupidity? But sir, this child looks like a newborn, and although we checked the house before we came, we found nothing of who the child was, if I could know. He belonged to the Saiyan Bardock, a low-class warrior. So Bardock, I think he's on a mission sent by Emperor Frieza. Just put him in a recovery capsule so he can survive, and send him back home. I won't even take the time to look at his power. He must be trash, just like his father. As Goku left along with the guards, he would start crying again. The king's tracker would have turned on by itself, as he calculated the baby's power would suddenly break. Stop! How has this low-class baby been able to break a tracker? Surely it was just a mistake. The king would order the guards to analyze Goku's power, but in doing so the trackers would break completely. This is certainly not a coincidence. 
This baby was born with a very strong power. This baby was born with a very strong power. To think that Bardock is a low-class Saiyan. Is something like this possible? Not even my son Vegeta is able to break a tracker. He reminds me a lot of that young man named Broly. What do we do with the baby, sir? We send him to the capsules where the strongest warriors are? How can you think of doing something like that? If he is there, my son will be trash in front of him. Hide him in a room where no one else can see him. After a while, we will get rid of him. But King, you can't do that. This baby has great potential. He could be of great help in the future. Maybe he can be the legendary Super Saiyan that the legends say. Stop talking nonsense. That's just the legend told by our ancestors. Besides, if it is true for some reason, the only one who will make it is my son. Sir, we will hide it, but I'm just saying, think about it. Maybe in the future it will help us defeat Frieza, and we will finally be free. Stop talking nonsense. Something like that will never happen. Get him out of here. The guards would take Goku to the room to put him in the special capsule. The guards left the room, but after 10 minutes, Goku would start crying again. The whole palace of King Vegeta would start shaking uncontrollably. Are we under enemy attack? Everyone get ready to fight! A lot of soldiers would have gone outside the palace to see the enemy head on, but when they came out, they would find absolutely nothing. King Vegeta, no one is attacking us. That can't be possible. If no one is attacking us, where is this tremor coming from? King Vegeta would put on a tracker to look for the enemy, but when he pointed to his palace, his tracker would have exploded. And not only this, but all the soldiers's. We were wrong, sir. The enemy is coming from the palace. They would all go to the palace, but the king had stopped them all. There is no need for them to go to the palace. I think I know what could be causing this tremor. The king would go along with the other guards who knew about the baby's power. But what they never imagined was that when they entered the room, they would find the special capsule completely broken. Goku would have stopped crying, causing the palace to stop shaking. So the culprit of all this commotion is this baby? This is not good at all. I'm afraid that baby surpasses the power of everyone living on this planet. Having him here alone is a danger. The best thing I can do is send him to a planet where he can't survive, just like I did with Broly. Besides, his bastard father has not returned. Recently, Emperor Frieza sent all the Saiyans to the planet for an important meeting. It is most likely that he lost his life in the mission. His mother also disappeared strangely. Having this baby will only bring us misfortune. Quickly, I want him to be sent to a faraway planet where he may not be able to survive. The guards would have taken Goku in their arms. When they were going to put him in an escape ship, the misfortunes that King Vegeta was talking about would have begun. Look in the sky, what is that sphere of energy? Is it coming towards us? The guards seeing that would have released Goku to start running for their lives. So Frieza betrayed us and now he wants to eliminate them. I didn't think that the disgrace of having that baby on this planet would start so fast. Anyway, I need to get out of here as fast as I can before I lose my life. Meanwhile, the Emperor of Cold... <laughs> All those apes are going to die. I can't let the legend of that Super Saiyan be true. Even if it's a rumor, I have to finish them all. Besides, they were already starting to be disobedient. The only way to eliminate a plague is to finish it from the root. The supernova of energy was wiping out all the inhabitants of the planet. The great mass of energy would have touched the core of the planet and exploded instantly, giving a great show to the Emperor of the Cold. I love fireworks. They're so beautiful. Always destroying a planet puts me in a very good mood. It's a pity that our army has been reduced a lot, but I will get much stronger and much more capable warriors than these simple apes. With these, the Saiyan race has been eliminated completely. Excuse me, sir, for bothering you in your celebration, but there are several Saiyans that did not answer our call, specifically some that we entrusted them with a mission to bring you a very precious mineral for the construction of weapons. Don't worry about that, they surely lost their lives for some strange reason. Anyway, in these days, I will visit the planet to see what happened. It is time to leave here. When the Emperor's ship was about to start, a soldier would have stopped it. Wait, Big Frieza, we have a little problem. Insolent! How dare you question me! If I say we are leaving here, it is because we are leaving. You better have a good justification before I end your life. Sir, in case you didn't notice, my tracker is still tagging a live person. What are you talking about? That's impossible! My supernova wiped out all the scenes along with the planet. 
Frieza would have quickly put on the tracker to find that person who was still alive. When the Emperor of the Cold got his location, he would have left the ship on his own. I need to see with my own eyes who is this person able to withstand my attack and live to tell the tale? Maybe it will be the legendary Super Saiyan. No, that cannot be true, it's just a rumor. The Emperor of Cold was flying in space until after a while he managed to see it with his eyes. The moment he approached, the tracker would have broken. The person who managed to withstand my super attack is just a baby? Something like that is even possible? If I raise him and make him a soldier, he could be of great help to me. But that will be very risky. Although his army was reduced by half, if I managed to raise this baby, I could fill that space very easily. In fact, that baby could be my entire army. Frieza would have grabbed Goku with his hands, but when he tried to move him from where he was, Goku would have started crying and releasing a big aura. Frieza would have moved back several meters, being very surprised. A baby was able to make me move back? This is very interesting. Now more than ever, he must be mine. Frieza tried to approach the baby again, but Goku would always start to expel a lot of energy. Goku, who is very restless, would have hit him in the face without realizing it. Frieza would flash against the meteorite that was in space, managing to be hurt in one blow. A baby was able to hurt my body? This doesn't seem funny to me anymore. I feel a lot of pain right now. I will launch a super attack again. The attack would be launched at Goku, thus crashing into his body. But Goku would not have received any injuries. Even though Goku was just a baby, he would have found it interesting to see that light approaching, causing him to stop crying to think at that moment this was all a game. Goku at great speed would approach Frieza to continue playing, but he would see that Goku was approaching and would start throwing key balls. Goku, who was only one meter away from the Emperor of Cold, would have grabbed Frieza's tail to start spinning and then throw him far away, unlike the other time. Frieza would crash into a planet. Goku found all this very funny. So much so that he wanted to replicate the lights that Frieza had launched a few seconds ago. The key balls that Goku was creating would have been launched to the planet where the Emperor crashed. Frieza, who could barely move, managed to dodge those energy balls, escaping from the planet. The whole planet would be destroyed. Goku, who was watching the lights coming out of the planet, which he himself had destroyed without having any conscience, would start laughing a lot. I almost lost my life because of that baby. He really thinks that all this is a game? I don't care anymore about having him in my army. Now, I just want to eliminate him, and for that, I will have to use all my power. Frieza would begin to increase his power, thus changing his form until he reached his last and strongest transformation. I never thought of using this transformation in my life, let alone using it on a baby. Even if he thinks this is a game, I can't let him end my life, or it would be too humiliating. Now, if you disappear, brat, Frieza would start giving several blows to Goku at high speed. Unlike the previous blows, these, if they hurt a little to the sand. I see that my punches are now much more effective than before. It is only a matter of time before I achieve victory. Goku would begin to cry when he felt pain, but this time much louder than before. Frieza would cover his ear as the sound of his crying was unbearable. Suddenly, the Emperor would begin to feel a little scared, since the energy that Goku was expelling was changing color. Don't tell me that baby is the real Super Saiyan. That can't be true. It's just a myth. Goku's hair and eyes would have changed to a very different color. His aura would change color to a very red hue. At that moment, Goku would become a god without realizing it, managing to obtain the status of the Super Saiyan Red God. The Emperor would have retreated backwards a lot. Although he couldn't feel anything, his instinct told him to get out of there as fast as possible. Damn it, if I spend more time here, he will end my life. From the beginning, I never had any chance to beat him. And the worst thing is that for him, it was all a game. Even though I gave my all in this fight, I never thought that the day would come when I would escape from a fight. Frieza would start throwing key balls to different parts of space to distract Goku. But for some reason, Goku wouldn't look away from the Emperor of the Cold. Hey, wasn't it that you really liked to play? Stop looking at me! Why are you looking at me with that face if you're just a baby? Goku would begin to charge energy in the palm of his hand. The Emperor of Cold, when he saw that, he flew as fast as he could, trying to reach his ship, but Goku would launch his energy ball. The Emperor, in an attempt to save himself from that ball of key, would have launched all the power he had in a super attack, trying to stop the energy ball. 
But what Frieza did not know is that Immortal, no matter how small the god is, will never be able to beat him. Gods are destined for greatness, while mortals are destined for misery and suffering. At that moment, the Emperor realized that his life as the strongest was all a lie. A baby was going to end his life. A baby was going to end his life. The energy attack would be directly against the Emperor of Cold, thus destroying his body little by little. The last thing heard from the Emperor was his screams of frustration. At the end of the battle, Goku would return to his base state without realizing it. Frieza's assistants, who had seen from the Emperor's ship a great light of energy that would have appeared in space, would be quite surprised. After the energy disappeared, they would think that Frieza had won the battle, anxiously awaiting his return. Frieza is the strongest in the universe. No one can fight him, let alone a Saiyan who supposedly survived his attack. All people in front of the Emperor are trash. Minutes passed and the Emperor still did not return. The soldier, worried that the Emperor did not return, would have used an energy tracker that he found on the ship. But when he detected the presence, it would have broken again. Perhaps the Emperor was defeated. This can't be possible! If there is a person in the universe that could be able to beat him, this must be a dream. It would be better to wake up as soon as possible. I know this sounds risky, but we need to see what happened to the Emperor. Before the Emperor's soldiers lit the ship, they would have seen what seemed to be an object that would have surrounded the ship. The soldiers, when they saw it through the crystal of the ship, would be surprised that it was only a baby that was in front of them. But what worried them the most was that possibly that baby would have eliminated the Emperor. To check it, one put on the last tracker that was left in the ship. When it was put on, it would have exploded in just one second. It really was a baby that took out the big Frieza. Listen everyone, you'd better get away from the crystal as fast as possible. That baby eliminated Emperor Frieza, and possibly eliminating us. Goku, even though he was curious about the ship, he just watched. But after a while, he got bored and moved away little by little. Apparently, that baby with great power has left here, for this time we were all saved and we haven't lost our lives. Now that the Emperor has been eliminated, it makes no sense for him to still be here. I know it sounds stupid, but I think I should look for a way to revive his body. Even though he was not the best person in the world, I think my reason for living is to serve him. Listen everyone, maybe the Cold Emperor has been eliminated, but this is not the end. I will not force anyone to stay, but those who want to continue in this crew, I want you to know that we will be looking for a way to bring him back to life. Meanwhile, Goku. He was still flying aimlessly in space, traveling at a great speed. Goku would have lost consciousness, since being so small, he could not control his powers very well. Although he had fainted, his body by itself continued flying through space, spending more than one hour. He would have reached a planet that very few people can be able to step on, because the most powerful figures in the universe and some small planets knew of the existence of this being and its symbolic planet. Before Goku reached that planet, his body would burst into flames. Whis, who was quietly watering some plants, would not take so long to feel the unusual presence of the person who was approaching his planet. Goku would not go through the layer of the planet, thus crashing into it, creating with him a large crater in it. Whis would quickly go to where the crater was, wondering in his mind what could be what he had found, since it was very unusual for him that something fell on the planet. As he walked a little further, he would realize what was inside. He was surprised to see that little baby that looked like a newborn with a lot of dust from the earth on top of it. How a baby fell into this planet? This can't be possible. I need to see his memories as soon as possible and see how he got here. When he put the tip of his staff on Goku's head, he couldn't see at all. How interesting. The first creature in this universe that I can't see his ancient memories? It's as if something blocked them. I think this baby didn't fall here just because. I think it will be worth taking care of him for a while. I'll ask Mr. Beerus if he allows me to. Whis would go to the room where the god was resting. He would ask him about the child, but as the god was so sleepy and thought that the angel was just playing with him, he would say yes and then go back to sleep. Whis would go to where Goku's body was passed out to say in his mind, Baby, 
you have been saved. The god Beerus gave me permission to take care of you. I think that after a few years, when he wakes up, he will be surprised. A whole day would pass after that event. Goku would finally wake up. He would be in a comfortable bed, but he would start crying. Whis, hearing Goku's cries, would go to his room to try to calm him down. Despite his attempts, Goku was still crying. Suddenly, the planet of the god Beerus would begin to tremble slightly. This child with his crying is making the planet tremble. It would be better to give him a little hit in the neck to calm him down. The walking stick would go to Goku's neck, but out of nowhere, Goku would start to expel that red aura again. Goku would stand up from where he was lying and then throw energy balls at the angel. The angel would dodge them without much difficulty, but when dodging them, the only thing that went through his mind was how a baby was able to have the power of a god. Goku would try to throw himself against Whis, but Whis could grab his hands to be able to load it. Calm down, baby, I won't hurt you. Whis would have taken out a bottle magically to put it in Goku's mouth. Goku, after drinking the bottle, would have calmed down, returning to his base state. Goku was calm and a little happy, because his only problem was that he was a little hungry. Seeing this baby so calm makes it seem like there's nothing special about it. Now that I know what he's capable of, I won't hesitate to train him and see where he's coming from. Time would pass, more than five years would have passed after that incident. Goku, in spite of his young age, could already speak very perfectly. Besides, his power would have increased a lot, thanks to his potential and the training that this angel has offered him for a long time. Hey kid, how about a practice training? Goku would get into the battle position. Goku and Whis would start a friendly exchange of blows. But despite the blows that Goku would throw against the angel, the angel would not be able to touch him. Whis would think, Despite the time, this kid hasn't managed to use his transformation like a god. I think I'll have to push him a little, so he can really see his true powers. Whis, on his staff, would have brought out a divine beast. This was a beast with which the angels trained when no one saw them. The blood of these beasts in the multiverse is very precious, because if you drink it, you can increase your power. But even though the angel knew that, he would only order the beast to fight against Goku, because Whis thought that increasing his power with external things and not with his own effort would not be of much use. Goku would be surprised when he saw the huge beast, and then he would retreat backwards. Goku would think it was all a game, but the beast would hit his back and fall to the ground very easily. That thing hurt me. My body hurts for the first time. Goku would charge energy into the palm of his hands, but his attack would have no effect. Goku would be hit again and again by the animal. Whis felt a little pity, but he would not stop the fight. He knew it was in Goku's best interest. The beast would carry large amounts of energy in its mouth, and without thinking twice, it would throw it at the boy. The angel would be confident that Goku would awaken his godlike power because he was stressed, but that was not the case. The energy would impact Goku's body, removing various parts of his body, such as arms and legs. Goku's eyes would be white and lifeless. The angel, seeing all this, would scream. Damn, you overdid it with that energy ball. Now the boy has lost his life. Sorry, my lord, it was not my intention. Besides, the energy of that attack was not so much. I swear that at no time I wanted to end his life. Forget it, nothing can be done. You are a divine beast. Why blame you? It was my imprudence that eliminated him. Whis would clench his fists, as he would no doubt have grown a little fond of him. He would use his power to revive his body, but no matter how hard he tried, he could not. Now, I could only bury him and hope that he would live a good life. But out of nowhere, a white light would have come out of Goku's chest. A strong current of air began to be felt on the planet. Goku's hands and legs, along with his wounds, would begin to heal. Goku would open his eyes again, using his Red God transformation again. That attack hurt me too much, a pain I had never felt before. You're going to pay for it. Goku's fist would fill with the red aura. He would throw himself against the beast, but this would see the murderous intent of Goku. So with his key, he would create a sphere to protect itself, but the impact would break its shield. Whis would automatically teleport to stop the attack of Goku. This would make this angel move by a few centimeters. Master, if you get in the way, don't blame me for being rude. I have to end his life once and for all. Goku would throw another blow again, but the angel would start to stop them. No matter how much Whis told him to calm down, Goku did not pay attention to him. 
From anger, his eye would start to bleed. It changed color to a golden hue. Whis, who would have seen it in Goku's eyes, would remain still and unable to move. My body can't move! It can't be possible! After looking at his eye, can he be able to leave me still for a single second? Beast, now you're going to suffer! Goku would begin to carry in the palm of his hands a colossal mass of energy. This energy had the size of an entire planet. No doubt, if that would impact on the planet of the god, they would be finished. The energy would be launched. The beast that looked fearful would take courage. I will not be eliminated by a child. Roar of Divine Beast! The loud roar was pushing back the energy ball, but from one moment to the next, Goku would have lost control of his power because of that roar, which would have stunned him for a few moments. That moment was more than enough for Whis to hit Goku in the neck with his staff and then stop the energy ball with his two hands. He would open a portal which would send that mass of colossal power far away. But where it was sent, in the distance, a huge explosion could be seen, which devastated several planets. Since this child is so powerful, he was even able to stop me. No doubt, he is a great danger.